For 27 years, I lived in a prison. It was not 20 years. I lived in a prison of lies and shame. Lying to protect the Lowe family. For years, I thought I was a horrible person having suicidal thoughts, not realizing what had been truly done to me, that I was a victim and I would still be in a prison if my brother, and many of you know him, Edgar Wolf, had not approached me just two weeks ago with what he had seen as a teenager that bothered him all these years. His pastor in bed with his younger sister, a t-shirt and underwear on, People knew but were too afraid to come forward, and they have now. The lies and the manipulation have to stop. I was a prisoner, and you kept me in your prison. I'm a prisoner no longer. I was just 16 when you took my virginity on your office floor. Do you remember that? I know you do, and I have plenty of other stories that I could bring to your remembrance. You did things to my teenage body that had never and should have never been done. If you can't admit the truth, you have to answer to God. You are not the victim here. I tried to tell someone, but all that was done was cover up. No one ever came to me. No one ever helped me. No one ever got me counseling. I have wanted to talk to somebody all of these years and never. You have. You have somebody that you've talked to. I never have. The church deserves to know the truth. This church has been built on lies, but no more. The lies need to stop. I could give story after story after story to what you did to me. Michael, I, your dad is not the victim here. A partial truth is not true. A par- if I would have gotten counseling, your dad would be in prison. It might not be the way, but every time... You covered up for Russ Spankle. My best friend was my age when your associate pastor was molesting his two daughters. And you know that. You sent him to be a pastor in another church. We can call Melanie right now and Cassie, her sister. They sat down with you. You sent Melanie away. Don't look at me like that. You know the truth. I know, but you can tell the truth because this is a lie. I'm letting you tell it. But you need to you know better than Listen, my wife is not just adultery, it's another level when it's a teenager. And I would not let this man talk about my wife like that. It happened for nine years. When she was 15, 16, the sexual grooming started. And it lasted until she met me and we started dating. This is the truth. And that's all we're going to say. Except, just that's, that's it. Have numbers? That's, that's you didn't tell them she was 14 years old. Sorry, 16. Okay, and it was wrong. I can't say it. I can't make it right. I can't make it any better. That's just the way it is. Uh, it's not all true, but that did happen, yes. She should have. I can't do anything about that except to tell you that if I could go back and redo it all, I would. I can't. All I can do is ask you to forgive me, and I'm doing what the Bible process or biblical process is in the church. I'm stepping down, stepping aside, and, uh, you know, it's been 20 years. I know, I guess it doesn't count for anything. We love them. I deeply hurt them. I deeply hurt you. I ask you to forgive me. Let's talk. Let's For 27 time. years, I lived in a prison. It was not 20 years. I lived in a prison of lies and shame. Lying to protect the Lowe family. For years, I thought I was a horrible person having suicidal thoughts, not realizing what had been truly done to me.
that I was a victim and I would still be in a prison if my brother, and many of you know him, Edgar Wolf, had not approached me just two weeks ago with what he had seen as a teenager that bothered him all these years. His pastor in bed with his younger sister, a t-shirt and underwear on. People knew but were too afraid to come forward, and they have now. The lies and the manipulation have to stop. I was a prisoner, and you kept me in your prison. I'm a prisoner no longer. I was just 16 when you took my virginity on your office floor. Do you remember that? I know you do, and I have plenty of other stories that I could bring to your remembrance. You did things to my teenage body that had never and should have never been done. If you can't admit the truth, you have to answer to God. You are not the victim here. I tried to tell someone, but all that was done was cover up. No one ever came to me. No one ever helped me. No one ever got me counseling. I have wanted to talk to somebody all of these years and never. You have. You have somebody that you talk to. I never have. The church deserves to know the truth. This church has been built on lies, but no more. The lies need to stop. I could give story after story after story to what you did to me. Michael, I, your dad is not the victim here. A partial truth is not true. A part, if I would have gotten counseling, your dad would be in prison. It might not be the way, but every time you covered up for Russ Spankle, my best friend was my age when your associate pastor was molesting his two daughters. Mm. And you know that. You sent him to be a pastor in another church. We can call Melanie right now and Cassie, her sister. They sat down with you. You sent Melanie away. Don't look at me like that. You know the truth. I know, but you can tell the truth because this is a lie. But you need to tell the truth. You know better than it was. Listen, my wife is not just a daughter. It's another level when it's a teenager. And I would not let this man talk about my wife like that. It happened for nine years. When she was 15, 16, the sexual grooming started. And it lasted until she met me and we started dating. This is the truth. And that's all we're going to say. Except, just, that's, that's it. Have numbers? That's, that's fine. Yeah, I committed adultery. I told you that it went on far too long. Did you do it? Yes, we did it. You didn't you. tell them she was 14 years old. No, at 16. Sorry, 16. 16 years old. Seven years, I lived in a prison. It was not 20. He said, he said, yeah. No, I did say it. It was 16. It was 16. Trying to correct the lady that said it was 14. <coughs> this is getting out of control. This is wicked right here. This is some wicked stuff. And then they sound like they've been covering up stuff from years and years and years and years and years ago. Like decades. Full of stuff. That's what it sounds like to me. <coughs> I cannot escape this call of people. But it's crazy. It really is crazy. It's weird how he admitted it. Like, yeah, I did say that it happened, but it happened when she was 16. How you gonna tell that little girl how old well the grown woman now? How you gonna tell her how old she was when it happened when she was there with you when it happened? Like so now she don't know how old she was. <coughs> it is a lot of evil going on in this world. Mass shootings. All types of stuff going on. Molestation. Kidnapping. Trafficking. You name it. Guns. It says so much going on at one time, Lord. Please stop it. That's all I can say. That's all I can say right now, YouTube. This is crazy. Let's finish watching it, though. Because, like, he, like, act so nonchalant. Like, like it was okay. Like, two years. You act like it was a big difference from 14 to 16, nigga. 
And then you have to learn to admit it because your wife and everybody is there and her husband is right there. Her husband stood up for her. Her husband stood up for her. Yeah, I was around. She told me all about it, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. He is lucky he ain't get his fucking head knocked off in this motherfucking video. You know that, right? But I am so happy that they caught this on video. And they released it to the media. This doesn't make no type of sense. See, here's the thing. We don't even need no trial, no nothing. Just come lock them up. They should just call the cops. Come and lock them up. No trial, no nothing. Throw them underneath the jail. Give them a sentence and just let them go. We don't need a whole trial. We don't need to go through the evidence. We don't need to do none of that because we have the video and him admitting that he did it. So he needs to just go underneath the jail right, right now. Like now, like right now. You didn't tell them she was 14 years old. Sorry, 16. She was 16 years old, okay? Okay, and it was wrong. I can't say it. I can't make it right. I can't make it any better. That's just the way it is. He said that's just the way it is. It's not all true, but that did happen, yes. He should just go to jail. Then he had the nerve to take the Bible underneath the bus with him. Like, yeah, because I'm doing it and I'm I'm doing what I gotta do. What you gotta do? You should have left town. That's what you should have did. No, you stayed there. And you kept doing it and doing it and doing it. Because you was, you know, you got away with it for so long. So you just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And that's the sad part about this whole situation. You didn't even have the nerve to say, well, let me move to another town and not torture them. You know what I'm saying? No, he just kept doing it. That's crazy. And then got the nerve to say he's following the Bible and this and this and that and the third. Don't bring, listen, you wasn't following the Bible because you shouldn't have never did it. I don't care what, what book say what and what. You know it was wrong to do it because you are admitting it now. And everybody knows about it. And you didn't think that everybody knew about it like that. So now you want to admit something. And this is sad. And I hope he goes straight to jail. Don't pass go. Don't collect 200. Don't fly that nigga a kite or nothing. Let that nigga go straight to jail. And let everybody know what the fuck he did to those girls. And that other one that he said he, he pointed out. That other pastor whoever that was. He need to go to jail too. He need to go straight to jail. Don't pass go. Don't collect 200. He need to go to jail too. This is a sad situation. It is so much evilness going on. I ask and I pray for everybody and all the families involved in this situation too. Whew. My name is Eve the Weave. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell me how you feel about YouTube. I'll see you in the comments. Later.